It smells incredible. Looks mm. amazing. Ross, step through this. Stone fruit, it's just spectacular. The things I like with stone fruit and I like to do in my restaurant is play with texture all the way through. There's a lot of little components in there, whereas I felt the chicken, you probably had a bit more time up your sleeve. This one's going to be a challenge. Do you want a taste? Definitely. Yeah, please. So the first bite you're going to get is the fresh, beautiful nectarine of the sorbet. So beautiful. So now you've had that beautiful, delicate taste. As you get into the dessert, I want to excite your palate again. So keep going, you'll find something else. Wow. What you can't see underneath the plated fruit is burnt peach butter. Mm -hmm. We take the peaches and cook them on the hibachi grill until they're black. And I don't mean lightly, I mean black, black, black. It's sweet though, it's, um, it's delicious, it's amazing. The biscuit, this is a beautiful Indonesian layer cake. When you look through it, it's like a piece of stained glass. It's amazing. It's easy to do. They do it in every village in Indonesia. But to make it into that, it's going to take some technique. You have to add the bicarb of soda. Don't try to rush it, because it won't be cooked. You won't have the proving of the bicarb. The bicarb makes the holes. If you don't have the holes, you're just going to have a piece of toast. It's beautiful. Tastes like the crispy parts of pancakes it. cooked mm. in butter. Those are the things that evoke childhood memories, which mm. I think are fantastic in food. And, you know, we all have a, this wonderful history of food in our lives as being chefs. And those, I think, the things that are integral in creating a dish, that it does sing to some part of your history and some part of your life. The syrup, it's, it's not that simple, is it? You need to take the care. The simplest things are the hardest things in a kitchen. We poach the nectarines to make the sorbet. We've taken the sauce from the poaching liquor, made a, a beautiful syrup for the fruit. It's perfume fruit. Think about the final taste and how much you're reducing. Are you getting everything out of the fruit that you've got? This syrup, it's just, it's so amazing and so beautiful. Right, Thanks. step back into line. Thank, Thank you. you. It ties everything together and I just, I can't wait to cook it. Right, you want some rolls? Yep. yep. You've got two hours to create Ross Lustig's beautiful dish. You also have five minutes to then plate up and present that dish to us. Are you ready? Yes. 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 Ross, would you like to get them started? Good luck, everyone. Time starts now. I read the recipe and I'm already starting to panic. I've never made anything like this before. I've put myself in this position of being in my first pressure test, but I need to just be calm and follow every step to the T. I have a look at what needs to be done in the first step, and that's to start on the peach biscuit. The biscuit is one of the toughest elements on the dish. It needs to be wafer thin and crispy and have bubbles in it so that it looks almost like a stained glass window. Sounds a little bit strange, but in order to make this biscuit, we first need to make a cake. Put flour, bicarb soda, and the peach powder in a bowl. Adding the bicarb soda will aerate the mixture. That's what's going to give the biscuit that stained glass effect. At this point, I'm feeling pretty good. Everything's going to plan, but I'm only three steps in. <laughs> I'm so pleased that we are getting to do this Indonesian cake. My nan's from Indonesia, and thinking of her just gives me that little bit more determination and focus. To make this batter, I need to make a caramel and then just gently stir it through those dry ingredients to get that thick batter formed. The javelina, that looks really good. Mm. It's really good. I feel like it's really important for me today to make sure that I pay attention to every detail in this recipe. I need to treat it with time, care and respect. If I don't get something right, it's going to be very evident on my final presentation. I want to make sure that I nail every element. I love making desserts. This is what I'm here for and this is my passion. This is what I want to do. But I start fretting and my mind goes blank. This is my second pressure test and I know that time's not on my side. I need to work as fast as possible. The dry ingredients to the warm caramel. Okay. 
So I chuck in the dry ingredients into this caramel. I don't know how it's going to react. I mix that really, really quickly. I've never made this type of batter before, so I don't know what it's meant to look like. I thought it was going to be a bit more light and fluffy, and mine isn't. Mine's quite hard and dense. So I just leave that to prove for 10 minutes. It's very rough technique what she's doing here, but it yeah. doesn't look right at all. I think Elise is going too fast. Pastry is a science. It's not a throw it together and let's see what happens. You've got to be delicate and you've got to be thoughtful about those processes, otherwise you're just guessing. She'll need to just slow down, I think. Yeah. Good job, Zoe. Well, my dough's proving. I need to get onto the white nectarine poaching liquor. The liquor is going to form the syrup that will need to go on the fruit at the end. It's also what I'm going to poach the nectarines in, which is for the sorbet. If I don't get this right, then I could ruin not just the sorbet, but also the syrup. I put some champagne, water, sugar and vanilla in the saucepan and put on the heat to boil. Once my liquor is boiling, I add the nectarines and I've got to boil that so the nectarines are really soft. Good job, Zoe. Whole white nectarines. While my nectarines are all poaching, I need to finish off my batter for my biscuit. I beat together condensed milk and eggs until it's light and fluffy. Then I need to fold my peach batter into my egg mixture. But when I do that, it just doesn't look right. And I can see that it's a little bit lumpy. Oh, I think I stuffed it. Elisa looks worried. Yeah, it's really lumpy. Is it? Why do you think it's lumpy? I didn't do a step right. Yeah. OK. When you mixed your batter, you've got to go in slowly and you've yep. got to create a batter. You went way too quickly. Could I just strain it? You might lose a lot of your batter. The bicarb, the caramel. The flour, everything, mm -hmm. because that's the key part. OK. And I don't really have time to do it again. Well. I need to decide whether to start again, or do I strain it and risk it? Why am I questioning myself? I'm not feeling confident right now. Oh, I don't know. 